Hello. So, we are rolling the dice with the Circuit Playground Express, and we're using Circuit Python with Moo. And so, let's go up to the start of the code here. So, the libraries I've imported is Time, Random, and then we've also got CPX, which is the library to utilize all the functions on board the Circuit Playground Express. So, right now we've got our dice color. And this is to this is for the little uh, pi neo pixels on the board. They're all circled around here, and they have the capability of doing all different types of colors. So this one's basically a white that I've got. And so then we have uh, dictionaries here and uh, key values. So we're assigning each number that will be rolled to a specific uh, set of pixels on here and you'll see when I demonstrate it'll start looking like um, you actually rolled a die so then we go down a little bit we're initializing the global states here we've got new roll is false and rolling is false so nothing is starting yet when we when we load the code um, it's going to wait for the while loop to start and then in this while loop, we've got if CPX button A. So that's little little D4 button on board right here, right there. Um, if that is true, so that if that got pressed, um, we've got a roll start time equals time monotonic. And that's like an Arduino or C++ way of doing delay. So we've got that initialized. As you can see, it's a function. Uh, and then we've got new roll equals true and rolling is true. So then we start our um, our uh, loop here. Um, and then we've got if new roll. So now we, we're comparing it. So if from the monotonic and that is uh, the board startup time minus the roll start time is less than, or I'm sorry, is greater than half a second. So basically, if um, the time between pressing the button and the start time, or between pressing the button is less than half a second, it will continue with rolling. Rolling will become true. If it's greater than half a second, it will be false. So when it's rolling, it's picking all these different values and basically going through the loop over and over until it stops on a value. Kind of like how you roll a dice, a die onto a table and it spins on all the different sides. So then we've got here, uh, roll number um, equals random. This is where the random library comes in. We've got one and seven um, just to include six in there. So six doesn't get left out. And then if rolling is true, here's the rolling. Um, we are initializing the pixels. We've got a for loop in here with a random roll number. That's where it, it will be randomized there. And then we will uh, equal the dice color for whatever number, what, which is P is uh, standing for. We will initialize the LEDs for whatever random number it chooses. And then the time to sleep, um, this is in between it lighting up different LEDs. So this is the rolling part where it just goes through random, 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 random. Of course, when the it goes through random, random for half a second or more, it will stop on a value. And this is what the LF is for um, when the new roll is false. Um, it will select the value and stop uh, looping through itself. So let's take a look here. It's going to be super bright. We're going to press it. And it's really hard to tell because it's super, super bright. But as you can tell, let's change colors here. So changing colors didn't help, <laughs> but you can see I landed on one, which is funny because I just pressed it randomly and it went back to one. Anyways, we're pressing it again. It goes back to one. Not making me look very random here. There it goes. There's number six. There's three. There's four. There's three. 
over and over until your heart is satisfied with rolling the die over and over again. Maybe you can make a game out of this. There's lots of dice games. And yeah, there you go. Uh, that is rolling a die.